Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Urban Design on City Skylines. We are going to continue this episode by working on more highways and fixing our demand for residential because we have more demand. So we'll get straight into it. So first of all, I was thinking of expanding my neighborhood into here, into this new area. Um, I'm going to create a new highway as well, so but first I'm just going to start working on this new neighborhood before we do anything else. So, uh, yes, first of all we're going to need to expand over here, like this, and from this we will be able to perhaps create something like this, like this create a little cul-de-sac over here close that up there we go close that off and now over here I'm going to add some high density residential all along over here and we'll see how long and what kind of um, coverage we'll get with this I was also thinking now that I've got a bit of a nice gap over here with three I can potentially add another crematorium We do have a, quite a few around, but essentially no, I'm going to actually think that a cemetery will be uh, of better use for us in this area, but not just yet. Um, what I was going to do is start working on the highway. So with the highway, um, I've cleared out a general path over here uh, of trees. Uh, so that I'll be able to have a general idea of knowing where the highway is going to be going. So, essentially what we're going to do is start from over here, go all the way across to there. I'm getting a few tear frames which I'm not too happy about, but we can survive. Okay, uh, now the next step for us is to do we keep this um, no I'm not gonna keep it so wide I don't think so what we need to do is go down to there and I'm gonna find a zone like that where we can start thinking about so if I'm not gonna if I'm not going to continue the rail in, in the middle, then I still think it would be quite valuable around over here to have the highway so far away, so far away, um, sp split up, I think. Um, so if I were to add one rail and a secondary rail, and give me that much space in between, and I think that would be quite okay just in case you know what we'll go for the three gap like we've been doing and with this I'm gonna start connecting this highway first uh, let's just join that across so that we've got an exact point as well there we go and how's our residential perfect it's still filling in slowly but I'm gonna zone all this area up as well Go. Now this place has water. Yes, it does. Perfect. All right. I'm just going to continue this across as well. But before we do, um, let's see how far I can take this highway before it starts getting to a point where it's getting elevated. So around to the. around to there. Okay, now we'll just build a guide that jumps across and continue this highway out to here as well. There we go. And that's going the right direction? Yes. This one is it. Okay. And this is where our next neighborhood will be able to fit in. Now I'm not sure yet what we can call this, but We'll see. We'll think about it. 
remove some of these buildings that they're struggling. We just had a bit of struggles with our crematoriums and cemeteries, but it should be all good now. Um, trying to should start emptying that one. That's getting a bit full. How is this one going? That's still operating. It's a bit full, but eventually we'll have to start. That's still emptying. Yes, 960. Okay. So, with this highway built up over here, I'm going to start working on my next piece, which is over here. Just build that across like that. And now I'm going to build this highway as close as possible to this rail, because this rail will probably, yes, this rail will not be over here anyway. Um, so, just push that there. And if this rail is not going to be here, that's actually a pretty good guide. So, build a rail over here, secondary one, and a third one. And now I can attempt to add the next highway across over here, like that. Okay, now, just going to have to push this all the way across out to here somewhere, let's see, because I'm going to want to create a nice big curve for this highway, and build that out to there, perfect, and now just extend this highway as well, all the way out to there, and just change the direction. Okay. With that completed, I think I'm be I'm in a position where I can just join these two up now. So I'll join it up from up here. Go up and across. Now is that straight? That actually is pretty straight. Let's see if I can make it a little bit better though. Yeah, that's better. Alright, so that's done. Now this next segment as well, it's actually pretty good, there we go. It's not exactly ideal. It's a bit wonky. It's a bit up and down, and I don't like that too much. I was hoping for something a little bit better, to be honest. I was hoping for something more that, like this. This turned out really well over here. This not so. This didn't turn out so well. It's more of a steep gradient though. It's more of a gradient than a cliff edge. That's why. So this is something that we might have to consider fixing later. But for now it's fine I think. Let's just try once more. See what we can really get out of this. So if we build the ramp, uh, so say, let's get the ramp tool straight out to there and across, that's fine, yes. Now let's see. The further we can make this, the better this connection can be. Well, that's interesting. Let's try that. Let's push this all the way out back to here. Let's push this a little bit back. And now I'm just curious to see how this will turn out. 
for example, just before we start, I'll add this road as a guide. So we know if this turns out good, we'll be able to connect it to a certain point evenly. And now, let's push this down. And is that even? Yeah. Now let's hook that up and let's see what we get. So this area is all nice and good. And then this last little segment up here is not that great. But we can fix that. I reckon we can fix that without any problems. Or, actually what needs to be done is remove that. You need to push this further out, closer to the edge. All the way out to there. And now let's see what we can do. Push this out to here. And close. Now that is pretty good. That's pretty smooth. It goes up. Slight gradient. And then up. Yeah. That's pretty good. I think we can live with that. It's a bit up and down over here, but nothing too serious. It's a lot better than that one. So... Yes, that's what we're going to go with. So, let's just remove all this highway from here. And I'm just going to have to push this road across here. Join this highway up to there. And now, we do the same thing. Click to go straight and across. But this one, however, is not as good, but it's better than what it was before. Okay. We can live with that. Remove that and remove that. I wonder if we can even push this further out. But if I do, I'll do it off camera for now. Let's just continue this highway on. So, I'm going to push it all the way through and across over here. So, we can't do that. That's too close to the bridge, but we'll remove that bridge sooner or later. Continue that all the way out to here. Okay. Now, the next thing is that I wanted to do is potentially connect the highway up over here. Um, so, what I'm going to do is... I have to create a guide over here, which goes across even with this highway. Alright. And with this I'll be able to work um, on a connection. So, let's use the highway tool. And if I push that through here, that's going straight. Yes, it is. Okay, so I'll use that as my initial guide. And we don't need to have any more of this gap in between now, do we? That gap's going to have to disappear. Okay, so we've got that all done and connected. However... I'm thinking perhaps we might need at least one gap so that we can put a few on and off ramps in between. And we can get actually closer to the cliff, cliff's edge. So, 
I'll add a ramp in the middle as a guide and now the highway. And that should be able to give us enough space. Let's see if we just drag this out. Yeah, they'll be close to the cliff, but not overlapping the cliff. So I'm going to push this out to here. There's a little bit of a rise over here. I didn't even realize that. That's fine. Push this out to here as well, out to there. Close that up, remove that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is extend this highway all the way out to here. Make a guide across and join this highway up to there. Now what I'm going to do is remove all this highway and I'm just going to connect it up with one long piece and that way it doesn't get so affected by the gradient. There we go. With that connected, I'm just going to push this forward a little bit more, closer to the edge. Let's just make it another guide, push that out to here. And now let's see how we can connect this. Okay, so from here, we go straight, connect, and there. Perfect. Now this side from here, out to this direction. Is that straight? Yes, it is. A little bit shorter. There we go. Change the direction of that. Change the direction of this. Perfect. This area is all going to be very nice. Now this highway is going to be, this part is going to have to join up to this highway, I think. This is going to be an interchange. This highway is going to continue as an elevated highway. Actually this elevated highway can finish up here and then have ramps. So this highway is going to join up to here and then do a loop of some sort. This highway is very heavily used. It's being very, very heavily used. Now I'm thinking perhaps a few ramps over here in this middle section will be very good to have. So for testing sake, I will do that. So let's make ourselves a guide off from this. Another road which goes in this direction. Okay. Now from this, I'm going to make my highway connection. So I'm just going to push that out to here. Let's see how far we can go. Somewhere where it's actually even. This is the difficult thing when we're facing elevation, different elevations. to keep it at the same height. I'm not sure how or what you can potentially do. There's nothing really up and then we can perhaps reduce it. No, there's nothing really that... If only that you could minim... Mi uh, like by very small increments you could reduce it. That's just not going to happen. 
So what we're going to do is just join this highway up over here, like that. And now from here, let's see what we can do. I'm going to push this straight along, upgrade this. Remove that. Just continue this at the same height, please. Okay. Now make this go down to round over here. Let's see, I want to make this smooth angle. Okay. Uh, no, it needs to go down. Okay, out to there. Let's just remove some of this. Let's remove this ramp for now. I'm going to continue this across to over here. And now this just has to join up like that. Change the direction of this. This can actually go just a tiny bit further out and join up like that. I think that will work. And now we just have to join this highway back up again. road connected out to here somewhere can we yes okay there we go that will that works okay so we've got the ramp connected here Same's gonna. I'm going to have to do the same on the other side as well, eventually. But for now, that's perfectly fine. I'm just curious to see if we can just extend this highway. It's going to be a massive project to do. A uh, few more issues around over here. So, first, before we get into that, you know what? I'm going to do that as a time lapse uh, video in the next video. But for now, um, we've got the basics done around here, which is good. Uh, people are actually using this already. Excellent. Oh, there you go. Look at all these trucks that are being actually taking advantage of this. Being here and connected. Might even be able to add a few ramps which go off in this direction and just join up over here. Near the airport section. Wow, this highway is so busy. Alright, anyway, let's get back into our town. This area has expanded very nicely, so we're just going to continue this expansion now. I need to continue this through. Thinking maybe even through somewhere over here. I will see how we go. For now, let's just keep expanding, actually, our little town. So, I'm going to create a, another area, squared up area, with a cul-de-sac right in the middle. Let's just fill the whole area in. What's our population at? 44,000, so we're still increasing, which is very good to see. Right, so you're completely finished emptying. You're... no. 
you can start emptying now that's still emptying um, you're filling how's this one going? you're filling just gotta keep monitoring all these uh, cemeteries okay and how's this one going? you're emptying no yes you are empty <laughs> So now I'm going to add actually a cul-de-sac over here. Oh no, let's add another little zone like this. And make that go out like this. And join up. Yes, no, I'm not sure. Yes. And there we go. And over here, why not? Let's just fill all, all of this area in. And I might actually start going off on an angle. Let's see what we can do with something like this. We're going to have to connect some water utilities, some water connections around over here. So, 550, join that across. We can remove that now. So, we've got the guide for our next little segment. There we go. And all this can be filled in with residential. Over here, we might add another angle. Why not? Let's have some different lines and shapes. Now, this can connect up to there. And what we're going to do is now connect this out to here. And this is going to connect from here to there and we'll make another small little cul-de-sac right over here there we go and all this can be zoned with more residential perfect Going off from this, I think, might be a nice idea to add a train station over here, but not just yet. In this nice long straight section, where we will add a train station. So as this expands, I think we could potentially think about um, this area. I'm not going to continue this uh, one-way streets over here. That's going to be the end over here. I think that's a good ending yeah, spot. So over here at the end, I'm going to add a few more of these parks that I like to add. Just in what way? One over here. And one over here, like that. That will work. And we can work with that.
lots of trash problems. How's this new incinerator going? It's working, but nowhere near full capacity. Interestingly enough. Traffic's not an issue here for these trucks to get in and out, so that's good. Okay, so guys, uh, these traffic is, these problems with garbage non-stop is so annoying, but we're dealing with it. Now this entry point is really getting choked up a bit, perhaps we need to add some more extra connections. We will see, but for now, yeah, I'm going to end this episode here, we've started working on our next district. Um, which is yet to be named. I will find a name for it. And yeah, next episode, uh, time lapse of the highway connections that we're gonna make. Uh, we're gonna connect this highway up over here uh, and all this interchange, uh, this whole interchange and junction, we're gonna create this. We're gonna continue this to go up straight over here to connect to this and then this all will be changed and hopefully this area will be connected to this. So, very, very busy. It's a big complex around over here, which we'll hopefully be able to fix. So guys, for now, take care. Remember to hit that subscribe button uh, so that you can catch up to the next time-lapse video coming up very shortly. For now, take care. Bye-bye.